Starting a collection of any sort can be a bit intimidating, especially after seeing some people online with much bigger ones than you already have. So today, I'm going to be giving you some tips and just showing you how to start your own collection overall. What's up Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, Darth Collector here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to start a collection. So the first thing you want to do when you're starting a collection is kind of narrowing in on what it is you want to collect. I'm talking pretty broad, um, so I'm thinking like, do you want Star Wars, you want Marvel, you want Transformers, you want any of the other franchises out there. I'm not saying lines, I'm not saying like vintage not, just whatever you want, Star Wars, Marvel, that type of thing. Once you've decided on that, the next step is just to narrow it in even more. So you could say, hey, I want to collect carded figures, or I want to collect loose figures. And the differences are basically, if you don't know, carded basically just means mint and in the packaging. So figures that are still in the packaging or are carded are generally more valuable and hold their value more than the loose figures. If you're having a little bit of trouble deciding this, here's some things you want to look at. Essentially, you just want to look at the why you want to collect. So, do you want to collect to bring back like that childhood nostalgia from what you had as a kid? Or do you want to set up displays from your favorite movie? Or are you trying to do it as a financial investment? So whatever the reason is, that's kind of what you want to look at and you're going to determine the why. I personally would not recommend collecting as a financial investment because you will burn out and there are a lot easier ways to make money to be completely honest with you and uh, figure values can really drastically change if they like put something out as a remake or make the same figure again and just put it on different packaging, the value can really drop a lot. So it's just inconsistent and I would recommend doing different ways. Now, if you do decide that you're collecting out of nostalgia or something, um, a lot of people will often choose loose figures for that because then you can set them up and you can kind of play with them just like you did as a child. And so that's kind of a more nostalgic feel. And if that's the case, I would recommend starting with your favorite figures that you love from the franchise. So, you know, you're going to start with a Luke Skywalker, not like a Geonosian warrior from Attack of the Clones, right? Essentially, you always want to start by getting the figures that you love the most because you're going to get the Iron Man, you're going to get the Captain America. And once you do that, you know, eventually you'll be able to get more of the rare and more obscure ones that you didn't start out with. And you'll just find more joy and won't burn out doing it this way. The next thing you want to think about is how many figures you want to buy in kind of your budget. So personally for me, I would not recommend buying in bulk. I think buying individual figures is a lot more enjoyable and you lose a lot of the satisfaction of getting the figure you've been hunting for when you're buying in bulk. Your budget will also probably thank you for this. You don't need to go fast. It's not a competition with the people you see that have massive collections. and. The whole joy of collecting really comes from that exploration and just kind of looking like for different figures, you know, hunting for figures and that satisfaction of like finally getting that one figure that you've been hunting for for so long. Now, where can you do that exploration that I was talking about? So if you're looking for vintage figures and just figures you want from your childhood to bring back that memory, odds are you're going to have to either search online or at older comic shops. Online, you can go to several different forums or places like Entertainment Earth, um, eBay and Amazon are two that I've used the most, I would say. And you kind of just look around and browse, you know, you'll pick on one figure that you want and then you'll see that row at the bottom of like, customers also shopped for this item and then you'll just kind of look through there. And I've done a lot of that and that's kind of how I built up a lot of my collection. If you're looking for more modern figures, you can oftentimes find them at just local retail stores like Walmart, Target, or if you still have a Toys R Us, then Toys R Us. Also, if you're trying to bring back those childhood memories, you don't always have to go for the vintage figures or whatever you had during your childhood. The modern figures are really good still, and it's a lot of the same characters, so you could still get a lot of that same enjoyment out of it, even though it's a different figure. Personally for me, I've done a lot of that. I kind of grew up more in the Clone Wars figures era, and um, I don't necessarily need those. You know, I like the Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith figures. All those figures, same characters, um, although that animated style is just really awesome and close to me. The next thing that you're going to want to consider is actually the scale of the figures. So, Star Wars figures generally come in several different scales. We've got the 3 3 quarter inch action figures, we've got the 6 inch guys from like Black Series, and then there's some other random bigger ones, but I feel like a lot of less people collect those ones. So, some of the advantages and disadvantages. 3 3 quarter, they've made a ton of 3 3 quarter figures. You can make almost any diorama, almost recreate any scene you want from any book, movie, comic book, etc, etc. There's so many figures. Um, disadvantages, sometimes they're a lot less detailed than the 6 inch ones, but the 6 inch ones may not have, you know, that G-Notion warrior I was talking about, or they may not have that random guy in Jabba's palace that you need. Um, personally, I collect the 3 3 quarters and I like them a lot better. Um, but the 6 inches are really cool and really detailed if you're into that. Also, 6 inch figures are a lot more expensive. 
On a similar note, you're going to want to decide if you want accessories with your figures or not. Oftentimes, you can get figures used for a lot cheaper if they don't come with the accessories. So, if you basically just want the figure just straight up, don't care about the guns, don't care about the lightsaber or whatever, totally fine. And that's going to save your budget a little so you can look to get figures without the accessories if that's what you're wanting. Otherwise, accessories, you know, they all come in the package, whatever. They're not that much more expensive, but it's just something to think about. Overall, to sum it all up, collecting is not about the destination, it's about the journey of that exploration and that research when you're getting the figures. Getting the figures can be just as fun as actually having them. Just get the figures that you love and get the figures that make you happy. If you have any questions, just leave it down in a comment below and if I missed anything, do the same. Collecting has been a really fun journey for me and I've been doing it a long time and I hope to be continuing it for a long time. That's why I started this YouTube channel to begin with. So if you enjoyed the video, please do subscribe and uh, just go have a great day. I know there's a lot of crazy stuff going on. And um, so let's just kind of be happy with what we're doing and, you know, chill out. Peace.